Welcome to Fraser 365. I'm Chris Montgomery, senior pastor of Fraser Church, and I'm excited for you to be joining us on the study of the book of Colossians. May the Lord bless and challenge you as we seek to know the Master so that we can live His mission. This is day 11 of Your New Life. Today's title is Christ is Supreme. Augustine said, Jesus Christ is not valued at all until he is valued above all. Our text today is Colossians 1, verse 15. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. In his commentary on Colossians, Warren Wearsby gave this insightful remark. Paul did not begin by attacking the false teachers and their doctrines. He began by exalting Jesus Christ. Remember, Paul is writing in response to false teachings that were invading the church at Colossae. Yet, he chose first to focus on the supremacy and sufficiency of Christ. This section of Scripture, verses 15 through 20, gives a fascinating picture of the greatness of Christ. One commentary writer stated, These lines form the core of the Christology of Colossians. They make up the most inclusive passage about Christ in the New Testament. You can consistently live missional when your focus is always on the Messiah. A sold-out life results from a single-mindedness on the Savior. A stronger commitment in your spiritual walk comes from concentrating on Christ. Paul starts his exaltation of Christ with this amazing description. He is the image of the invisible God. The Lord Jesus Christ embodies all that the unseen God is. The Greek word Paul uses for image is Icon. Our English word icon originates from this word. This word means a mirror-like representation, like a high-definition projection. It depicts revelation, representation, and likeness. Jesus was a tangible representation of God. God is a spirit and is to be worshipped in spirit, but to redeem mankind, Jesus took on the form of a man to allow us to see God in the flesh. He was 100% man, but he was also 100% God. In seeing Jesus, one is able to see God. Jesus was God in the flesh for all to see and to observe. Jesus was an exact representation and revelation of God. The man Jesus is the supreme image of God as God is eternally. Put otherwise, Jesus is the perfect portrait of God. In him, we see the distinguishing marks and present intentions of God. If you want to see what God is like, look at Jesus. If you want to know what humans were intended to be like, look at Jesus. This idea is echoed in the following scripture. Hebrews 1, verse 3. He is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature, and he upholds the universe by the word of his power. John 1, verse 18, No one has ever seen God, but the unique one, who is himself God, is near to the Father's heart. He has revealed God to us. John 14, 9, Jesus replied, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and yet you still don't know who I am? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So why are you asking me to show him to you? Therefore, Jesus gives us a way to see our invisible God and know Him in a personal relationship. The false teachers around the Colossian church were focused on what they knew while Paul was focused on who he knew. Paul followed up that statement with this description of Christ, the firstborn of all creation. The words here for firstborn is prototokos. It comes from two words, protos, which means first, and tikto, which means to bring forth. Together, this word means to bring forth first. It is defined as first in time, or preeminent. This phrase in scripture has led to many false teachings. Those who deny the deity of Christ have greatly misused this phrase in verse 15. They claim that this scripture speaks of Christ as a created being, and so he could not be the eternal God. However, Such an argument distorts and misrepresents the entire context of this passage. The word firstborn must be correctly understood. The word refers to position or rank. It literally means a first importance. 
the word first describes Christ as being absolutely first. The word born gives us an analogy to describe his supreme importance. In Eastern culture, the eldest son received the birthright, which entitled him to a double inheritance. The firstborn was first in status and significance. Therefore, firstborn is a word that reminds us that Christ both existed before creation and is exalted in rank above all of creation. He is the supreme one. He is prior in time and superior in position over everything. In this one short verse of scripture, Paul clearly defines the supremacy of Christ. Consider these questions. How does Paul's description of Christ deepen your faith in Jesus? What thoughts come to mind when you meditate on Colossians 1.15? How should Christ's supremacy affect your commitment to missional living? How can you spend time today praising Jesus for being supreme? Pray with me. Lord Jesus, you are amazing. Thank you for your supremacy and your love. Show us how to live with the knowledge that the firstborn of creation loves us sacrificially. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.